Hey guys and girls, uh, Nathan here, just uh, in the Be Invested headquarters. Um, how's everyone's day going? Hopefully everyone's good with the uh, yeah, mayhem that's going on out there. <clears throat> just wanted to um, catch up with everyone. Uh, we've got an emergency uh, announcement coming out from the Fed. Thought I'd uh, be online and, uh, and chat to you guys. Where else would I rather be uh, as the world is collapsing? rather than chatting to the community um, who have been watching, you know, us talk about it for the course of the last sort of two, two and a half years. So, yeah, just um, very rushed. I literally just hung up the phone from a phone meeting and um, wanted to hop straight online to, uh, to yeah, be here because at 2.30 today, um, the RBA has called the first emergency meeting um, since the GFC. Uh, hi, Andrew. Thanks for checking in. Uh, Thanks for everyone checking in at the moment. Uh, don't know if anyone's, uh, hey Tanya, um, you know, stuck at home for the, uh, you know, work from home or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, just wanted to hop online, as I was saying, uh, as we see the RBA release, um, you know, the handout as to what they're going to do to stimulate the economy now. So uh, here we are looking at news.com, or I'm looking at news.com, um, and the article here is the AUD, the Australian dollar plummets to a 17-year low ahead of a record rate cut and horrific global growth uh, sentiment. So uh, two years ago, people thought that, um, hey, Amanda, how you doing? Um, uh, two years ago, people thought I was off my head. Um, oh, everyone's messaging, hey, Kane, hey, Sean. Um, just uh, got your file here, Sean. So just had a look at my desk now. So um, look forward to chatting later on tonight. So, yeah, um, two years ago, people said that was crazy. And here we are with the Aussie dollar plunged to a 17-year low of 55 cents uh, and the global economic outlook crumbles under the spread of the deadly coronavirus. What a great thing to talk about, right? We can't just say we fucked up, we've robbed the economy, anything like that. You know, 2001, it was Muslim terrorists. They were the ones. Let's go, you know, create a problem and, you know, hate on the, the Muslims out there. And uh, today, um, you know, I was talking to the local Chinese restaurant yesterday and, you know, people are out there, you know, going, oh, fucking Asians did this and, and whatever. Um, and, yeah, look, it's it's something that they're just blaming the coronavirus. Um, I haven't got the news yet as what's come through, um, but I am waiting to see um, what's coming through from the news outlet. Um, RBA News. Um are we going to have a frozen uh, rates? Are we going to have um, stimulus put into the market? What do you guys think we're going to see in the next couple of minutes? Um, news and announcements. Um, I've got here. I didn't even find the articles. I'm just looking them up as we go because we're on the fly. Um, 19th of March, which is a press release, just came out today. The coronavirus is first foremost public health issue, having a very major impact on the economy uh, and the financial system. As the virus has spread, countries have restricted movement of people across borders. Uh, do you ever think, like, maybe those um, those rates, uh, the, the border wall in the US is to keep the US in? Um, a reduction of the cash rate target to 0.25%. Uh, the board will not increase the cash rate target until progress is being made towards full employment and is confident that inflation will be sustainably within a 2 to 3% target. A target for the yield of a three-year Australian government bond is around 0.25%. Um, a term funding facility for banking system, particularly uh, support for credit to small and medium-sized business. RBA will provide a three-year funding facility to uh, ADIs at a fixed rate of 0.25%, ADIs will be able to obtain initial funding of up to 3% of their existing outstanding credit. So banks are getting um, flushed with liquidity. Uh, the exchange settlement balances at the Reserve Bank will be remunerated at 10 basis points rather than zero, as would have been under the case of pre previous arrangements. Uh, RBA um, will also continue to provide liquidity On a live. Sorry, guys. Got everyone in my office laughing and stuff. I had to throw a text at them. Got a glass wall here. Um, yeah, so um, 
there will be a press conference with further details at 4 p.m. today. Um, well, this is great news. This is great news. So it looks like we've got a rate cut of 25 basis points, um, but nothing else has come out at the moment. Here we go. News.com has got um, the article here. Uh, RBA slashed the official rate to a historic low of 25 basis points. They've got nowhere else to go now, guys. They've got nowhere else to go. Um, would have thought, you know, two years ago, oh, rates are going to go up, but they come down. Um, I believe that we're going to see it go to neutral, uh, to negative percent. Um, they're saying that they can't reduce rates to 0%. Uh, I believe that will screw up all their computer algorithms for that back into the banks. I believe it will um, sort of hurt. Um, but they, they just physically can't at this point, possibly. Uh, a bit like the Y2K bug. I read an article out to you guys a little while ago about how the banks aren't um, you know, able to comprehend this. And their, their systems are. Um, so we may sit here for another month or two, uh, but well on track from a target of 25 basis points by the end of financial year. Um, but what do we have here? It has previously signaled it will not cut rates below the 25 basis point threshold and that even if it did, such a move would not be effective. Um, it, this is the first time a rate cut has been announced outside a regular meeting since 1997 and is glaring sign of a how severe the situation is becoming. We knew it was fucked. Um, here we go. He revealed that the RBA was ready to purchase Australian government bonds and embarked on quantitative easing, effectively encouraging consumer spending by printing more money and then pumping it in the economy. Um, the bank will also be conducting one month and three month repo operation in its daily market operations uh, until further notice to provide liquidity uh, to the Australian financial markets, he said earlier this week. In addition, the bank will conduct longer term repo operations. So basically, the RBA now, uh, this is one thing I said a while back as well in the mentoring program, um, that we would see the RBA come and buy out the bank's loan books. And yeah, it's just a very, very exciting exciting time. It's the first time that they've had an emergency rate cut like this since 1997. Um, it's the first time in 23 years we've had this happen. First time ever to be at 0%. Um, and I think that we're only at the start of this party. What we're yet to see is, you know, all these companies, we've seen Qantas now, um, that have uh, slashed like 20,000 jobs today, or we'll put them on hold, should we call it. Um, we haven't seen the ramifications and the bailout of you know, what's going to flow on from this. Um, when we start seeing the um, the reports coming through after financial year, around September, October this year, we'll see reports coming through of um, how bad the, um, you know, the companies are doing and seeing, um, you know, a few of them go under between now and then. And then we will see that uh, flow onto the greater market. So it's very, very uh, interesting, interesting time. So, uh, just having a look at some of your comments. See if you've got some questions, uh, hit me up. Um, but um, uh, good to see my noggin again. It's, uh, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, it's through frozen. It's not. I don't think it's frozen in Australia, but in the UK they've frozen rates for three months. So a lot of people have asked me what. Uh, does frozen rates mean? Uh, it means that, in effect, you don't need to pay your mortgage for three months. Um, I don't understand how that works. I haven't seen it yet in effect. But um, it could be that they freeze your mortgage for three months and tack it on the end of the loan or, you know, some sort of stimulus package to the bank where they pay it for you for three months. Um, Nathan here said, uh, is it worth withdrawing money out of the banking system? Um, yeah. I don't have money in the banks. Uh, I have money stored in different sort of formats. Um, I'm not a big fan of having cash. I'm a big fan of having cash flow coming in and out. Um, but yeah, basically, um, yeah, we're, we're seeing um, you know a lot of uncertainty in the banks. I think the Australian banking system is relatively safe compared to America. Um, that's why they've done the Glass-Steagall and they've separated the banks. Uh, the Royal Commission separated the banks in order to prepare for this. Spoke about that uh, quite a while back as well. Um, Jade, 25 basis points, undoubtedly, hopefully more. 
uh, they've cut to 25, uh, 0.5% across fingers. Um, uh, we've got another quarter percent today, so it's a start. Um, Dave, he, what is your outlook on the Australian property market, given that a lot of people won't be able to afford their mortgages? So if you haven't been watching, guys, um, I've been talking about this a lot. Uh, we're going to see interest rates go to zero. We're going to see potentially uh, freezing going on uh, to people's mortgages to ensure that you know we're you know, injecting liquidity in the system. Everyone's saying it's this flu. Um, you know, I haven't seen a photo. Like, imagine if there was a big disaster and we see 10 people die. Right? We've got six people, well, six, five, six, six people die so far. I haven't seen a face of them going, oh, poor person that's been caught up in this tragedy, whatever. Um, you know, who are these people? Where are the people that are recovering? I haven't seen anyone in any news article saying, oh, yeah, I was really sick two weeks ago and now I'm not sick anymore. Um, but suddenly we've got the whole um, world collapsing financially and um, all this stimulus and trillions and trillions of dollars being printed uh, as free money, as helicopter money uh, to hand out to the community. So very interesting. But, you know, people uh, will find it difficult to pay the mortgages. We've been in a technical recession uh, for two, two and a half years. Uh, it hasn't been seen out there on the streets. We're going to call it a recession now. Um, one thing I realised the other day is um, I talked about that we would have been, you know, in the middle of a recession last year. Um, some people commented and said, oh, well, you said it was last year. Why is it this year? Uh, what happened on September 11th, 2019 um, is basically uh, REAP operations, which is what the RBA has just announced that they're going to start here in Australia. Uh, the New York Fed started buying up the rates and the bonds uh, in the US to push the market and stimulate the market to go upwards. Um, that propped up the market and stopped the decline because otherwise we would have had two quarters of consecutive losses, which would have been in a recession. Uh, they avoided that and now here we are. It's the coronavirus that's done it. So uh, really interesting. Josh, the Aussie dollar is falling fast. Um, expected to fall further as we cut rates further under 0%. Um, Vince, do you think there's a chance of bail-in and 250 grand deposits could be taken by the banks? Um, possibly. Anything's possible. Um, anything is possible here. Uh, should we withdraw the money out of the bank? Uh, I wouldn't go, say go run to the bank um, and pull out your money, but um, if you go to the bank, you can't... Like, if you've got 20 grand that you want to pull out of the bank, They'll say, no, nah, what do you want the money for? They'll ask you a million questions. It's like, I want to get my fucking money. It's my money. You're storing it, right? But it's not your money because it's stuck in this system. Don't know what's going to happen. Don't know what's going to happen in the in intricate details, um, but I wouldn't have big amounts of money stored in any bank. So if you do, uh, if you guys are watching, you've been watching, uh, you need help, need a bit of guidance, need a bit of direction, I've put my email up there. Um, flick me an email. Um, I'll organise with my team for us to have a quick chat uh, to look at your position and look at what options we've got to, uh, to protect yourself. Um, Danielle said, notice today that most banks are advertising 4000 cash back for refinances. Interesting. Um, yeah, there is a lot of offers out there, $4,000, $2,000. Obviously, the asset of the bank isn't the property. The asset of the bank is the person being yourself as the mortgage holder because the bank needs a mortgage holder to be attached to that. Um, that's that's the important part. So the banks are trying their best to obtain new clients. Um, the other thing to watch out for at the moment, guys, is um, as a lot of people have gone to lockdown around the world, uh, do note that banks uh, do not run from Australia. Uh, they're offshored in India, in the Philippines. Um, now there is like 30 day waits, 40 day waits on some of these uh, banks to uh, look at your loan. So even just to process a loan. So if you're wanting to refinance, it is getting jammed up a lot. Um, and there is massive, massive delays there in doing refinancing. But I think it's important uh, understanding what's happening out there in the market to work out, have I got the right uh, loans? Have I got the right facilities in place uh, to, uh, to, 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 to carry through and to capitalize and maximize this, uh, this sort of opportunity we've got. Uh, Lisa, uh, should we take any money paid in advance from our redraw facility on our home loans? Um, some banks, uh, this is something I saw about two years ago, let's say someone had a 
200 grand loan they had an extra 50 grand attached to it so the limit was at 200 but they only owed 150 and uh, the banks were winding back that limit and taking those little 50 grands or 20 grands away from people um i'm not um I'm, I'm not a big fan of having money sitting in there, but you know, at the end of the day, what are you going to do with it? I don't think anyone should panic and uh, you know take that money out, but I think we should be diligent in working out what's our next step. How can we sort of profit from this? How can we uh, you know capitalize on this position that we've got at the moment? So um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be stressing Lisa. And I got a reply to your message from the other day, um, Wayne. Come to Sunny Coast, so I can buy you a beer. I don't drink beer, mate. I might look fat like I do drink beer. Um, I'm just got a chubby face, and when I shave it with a blade, I look fatter. But uh, I don't actually drink beer, so um, but I'll have an orange juice or something. Next time I'm up there, I'll let you know. Um, Andrew, is there any chance a bail-in might occur? That could possibly occur. Um, I think we're very, very early stages of uh, this depression. Uh, we haven't even called it a recession yet, uh, but we will be in a point. Um, we will be in a point in the coming weeks. We're going to see a lot more of this. We're going to see Scott Morrison come out shortly, uh, talk about more stimulus packages. Don't know what they are, um, but there's going to be a lot more stimulus injected. There's, we could see even the trillions of dollars here, guys, in Australia. Now, never seen trillions of dollars. Uh, that was more of the US, uh, but we're going to see tens of trillions in the US, uh, maybe even hundreds of trillions of dollars in the US. Um, very, very exciting times. Like Most people are worried about how to um, get toilet paper um, to wipe their ass at this point in time, and they're freaking out. Um, very, very excited to see, okay, this is what we've got. What can we work with? Things are going to be changing by the day, by the week, by the hour. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's signs there. Like to say, you know, how do you know that the bank's going to reduce the interest rates today? There's writing that's on the wall. Um, you know, it, it, it's like people are saying about the Aussie dollar dropping. Uh, when we have emergency meetings like this, uh, it's known that we're going to see a rate cut because that's why the dollar drops. So there's indicators and key indicators there that, that, that uh, do alert you to this. So, uh, and I do also post a lot of this content uh, in Birchfeed. Um, and for those of you that don't know what Birchfeed is, uh, flick an email to my team. The email that's at the top is fine. I'll put you in the contact the right people. Send us a message on here. And basically, I just need your email and a phone number, and I can attach you into Birchfeed, uh, where I post content and data sort of every couple of hours about something random, uh, something to come across, uh, just so you guys can go and research and you know not be censored by the media that's out there. There's a lot of bullshit coming from the media. It's controlled. Um, everyone thinks that they vote for the government, they're going to get you know some saviour. Um, they're just puppets. Uh, when they read the news and the media, they're just propaganda outlets. Uh, we're as free range as a free range communist can be. Um, everyone thinks we live in land free, but we're very similar to North Korea in many different ways that we don't even realize. Um, so you put a lot of content out there on Birchfeed. Uh, it's free, so why don't you you know get a, get get onto Birchfeed? Um, I'm all I'm the one that posts everything on there. Uh, so it is me, whether it's two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, ten o'clock at night, six o'clock in the arvo, whatever the case may be. So. Um, yeah, hit us up if you want to get access to that. Uh, Mike, you said you've got 40 grand, no debts. What do you do within the next 12 months? Love your content, mate. Uh, Michael, flick me an email um, and I'll come back to you with a bit more uh, detail intimately as far as what your position is. Uh, just throwing out ideas um, without knowing specifics is a bit tough for me to do. So if you want to flick over an email, I can give you some feedback on that. Uh, Stan, uh, do you think all mortgages be treated the same, investors including? I would hope so. Um, I would hope to see that. Um, however, um, we don't know. Never seen this beforehand, so it's going to be exciting. Uh, I would expect that they would, um, because tenants with problems, you know, possibly uh, in that aspect, they can't really discriminate. I believe that we're going to have to stimulate the rental market as well to help out investors. So it could be a double win. The government pays like a, a tenancy uh, rent, and then they pay, you know, the, the loan as well. Would be really interesting to see. Uh, Kane, this road here, 0.25% equals three thousand three hundred and twenty-five dollars interest saved. Giddy up, RBA, bring another 0.25 and negative rates. All right, if you didn't watch the live feed the other day, uh, go back through this page, check it out. Um, I put a live feed up about how you can retire uh, with this Corona 
bullshit that's going on at the moment. Um, each um, rate cut, what does the rate cut mean to you? Are you getting the right, uh, the right rates? Have you got the cheapest rates out there? Are your loans structured correctly? Are you taking advantage of the market as much as you should? Um, if you don't know that, if you are unsure um, or whatnot, uh, flick me an email. I'll have a look at your position, uh, give you some feedback, some pointers, and we'll have a little chat on the phone even, um, and I'll put you in contact with the right people to get yourself um, structured correctly so you can take advantage of this opportunity at the moment. So it's, um, yeah. But good work, Kane. Good luck to everyone that got uh, a pay rise today. So, uh, Colin, uh, I know from love your work. I know you're busy. I imagine you're weak there regarding mortgages. Hope to hear from you, team, sometime soon. Colin, I... I've tried to get back to everyone. I, I think I've gotten back to everyone. I don't know where you may have emailed me. Maybe if you can just check your um, the email address that I've got here, make sure it's the right email address. Uh, if you get stuck, maybe even just email uh, admin at beinvested.com.au as well, um, it, just to ensure that it gets to me. Uh, but I believe I've gotten back to everybody, but I will check my inbox again uh, shortly and look for you. Um, uh, Stephen, Nathan, how much are you talking about those large amounts? Um, I think you're referring to when I said about pulling money out of the bank, uh, pulling out any sort of amount over two grand, four grand, the banks are going to ask you a million questions until you know you cannot get access to it. Um, or the money might have, um, you know, disease attached to it or what are you going to spend the money on? Uh, no, that's a large amount. Right, I remember in the 90s, I remember the early 2000s, I remember... 2006, 2008 even, um, I'd go to the bank and pull out 50 grand, 100 grand at a time that have it, they'd be a bit stroppy about it. But now you go ask for like 20 grand, anything over 10 grand, they're like, what do you want it for? You're not getting it. I can't give it to you. The maximum I can give you is five grand. Um, really, really fucking stupid. So um, just be aware of that, guys. If you think you're going to go to the bank to get the money out, it's going to be worse than toilet paper. It is worse than toilet paper. Uh, at the bank, so you can't, at least with the toilet paper, you can wipe your ass with the stuff, but with the money, you can't. Um, and it's going to be as worthless as that. Uh, Pharrell, uh, thoughts on buying Qantas shares now or wait for more bleeding? Um, look, no financial uh, advice on here uh, specifically, um, but I don't believe the airlines may survive. I believe they may all go under, and it might be weird to say that, uh, as would be 0.25% uh, interest rates uh, on a loan. So um, very interesting times. I'm not buying any quantum shares. I'm not speculating on that. Um, I will be buying a lot of shares uh, when the time permits. And I don't believe, I think it's the first tranche of the market going down. And I think there's a lot more damage to be had. Uh, I could be wrong. They could push the market up. We may even see three months worth of cycle where they're like, look, everything's recovered, we're all green, new all-time highs again, um, and then we'll see some other reason why uh, we have to stimulate the economy and why the crisis uh, deepens. So, yeah, with it, um, yeah, very personal call if you want to take on buying that, but I think there's a lot more pain to be had uh, around these companies are getting hit at the moment. Um, Emma, where do you store your cash, crypto, tether? Uh, I keep my cash... In um, my cash comes through via cash flow, um, so I'm always taking cash that I've got and putting in the assets. I've got a very big crypto holding, uh, I've got a large precious metals holding, um, and then I've got um, you know all my properties, business, and stuff like that, which bring cash flow that's recurring, and then I can use that to do other stuff. So yeah, um, Sophia, really enjoying Birch feed. Thank you for the feedback. Um, it does take a lot of amount out of my day to uh, to provide all that information uh, from various sources for you guys. Um, with the stuff that I post in there, I watch, learn, research a lot of different things. Um, I only post there what I sort of 80% agree upon. Uh, obviously, for watching a video in Birchfeed from someone else, I don't always agree on everything the person may have to say, but it's always there just for a, a secondary sort of opinion on, um, on, on, on how you know, you can, you can push forward and, and learn different than the uh, the propaganda outlets out there. Michael, me, TP for your bunghole. Uh, maybe, mate. Uh, good luck with that. Um, guys, uh, hook me up for Birch Feed. Uh, if you can just flick an email or send a message on here, uh, just for my team to be in touch, um, 
prefer not to have everyone throwing out their personal information just on live streams and stuff like that because you get i've got a lot of scammers uh, a lot of uh, people that think they're cool in property and they uh try and go through my likes and people that like and comment on my stuff and try and add them to their own uh, pages and shit so you probably get spammed by other people so just taking care of your data but if you want to flick me an email uh, with that uh, i'll get you into uh, birch feed as quick as possible uh marie got three home loans with the same bank on a fixed rate to get out of them all will cost me 11 grand heard the banks are dropping fees is this true they are off the fix in November, but I can save quite a bit of money if it's not fixed. I'm not sure it would be 11,000 savings. So um, because the banks just uh, drop rates again, it's gonna be even more expensive to break it. Um, maybe it might be something worthwhile a little bit closer to that time in restructuring. If you wanna flick me an email um, on the email address at the top, um, I will have a look at your position and see what options we've got. Uh, there are some banks, as uh, Danielle posted beforehand in here, um, where uh, they're offering a refinancing fee of like four grand, uh, two grand to bring your loan over to them. Uh, so it might be something where you could uh, take up one of those offers and sort of lighten the, the blow from that perspective. Uh, Charles, get a break, cost, and do the sums if it's worth it. It's correct. Um, Alana read an article today that they're saying bank repayment holidays were a freeze on repayments and the interest is just added to the loan. Can't find the article, but now it makes sense. Banks will actually make more because they are charging interest and then charging interest fees and debt doesn't become a default. Um, look, this is the first time ever um, that we're going to see the banks actually needing us, right? Um, it's not every day that the banks are, you know, they need to protect the asset. The asset is us as humans. We're debt slaves to the bank, uh, which is fine if we're then making the tenant in our property a slave to us to pay our bank back for the debt that we've got and service that debt. Um, that's why we say treat your property investing like a business. Uh, these bank repayment holidays, um, you know, very, very interesting time. Uh, it depends. I haven't seen, I haven't seen it uh, happen, but there might be an opportunity there where they defer the payment, um, where they, uh, I think everybody should be calling their bank at the moment, asking them to reduce their rates, uh, seeing what opportunities, what options that they've got, uh, how they can help us out. Because they've got a duty of care. Um, you know, ACCC has, uh, you know, big things around this. Um, so asking the banks, can you do a better rate for me? What is the best rate that you can do? Uh, looking at options, whether you can uh, refinance or, uh, or, 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 you know, get yourself, um, you know, in a better cash flow position from going to the bank. If you've got half a million bucks, a million bucks, two million bucks, three million bucks, every quarter percent, every point that you get cheaper really adds up. So make sure you're going there and checking that. If you need help on that, hit me up. Um, I do have a finance company. I do finance um, like billions of dollars worth of people's uh, loans to them. Uh, Lucas said here, uh, you think hyperinflation is the end game and how long do you think this will take to play out? Um, I believe that this will lead to a hyperinflation. If you do not know what a hyperinflation is, guys, go and uh, research hyperinflation. It happened in the Weimar government uh, in Germany in the 20s. Um, that's where Hitler rose to power. Uh, weird shit happened at the time. Um, but yeah, we're heading into... The only way to get through this cycle is via a hyperinflation and the death of the dollar. We're going to see the currencies die from this um, and it's going to be exciting because debt becomes irrelevant with inflation and um, you know, it's really, really exciting time. So um, will it be straight away that we see hyperinflation? I don't want anyone to get the wrong um, understanding of this. Uh, I talk about hyperinflation, but it doesn't mean that we're in hyperinflation. We are in a deflationary phase right now. Deflationary um, in the fact that, you know, there's, there's problems out there in the markets. Um, they need to stimulate them. If things were great, they would be pulling liquidity out of the market, but they're not. They have to inject liquidity in. How deep this will go will depend on how quickly and how rampant um, hyperinflation will come. Um, basically, there's been over 10,000 currency, which have all turned to zero. Um, you know, in the last 1,000 years, the first hyperinflation occurred in 1024 AD in China. It was actually China that uh, had the first hyperinflation in the world. Um, and here we are with our own currency. The average uh, currency only lasts, um, I forget the exact number, I think it's like 
28 years the average currency last um, and here we are on our 49th year as of the 15th of august uh, 2020 it will be 49 years um, of the dollar in its current format um, i know that we turned to the dollar in 1966 but the actual back end of how the money is strung and where it's pegged to uh, started in uh, 1971 in the 15th of august by president nixon uh, when they took us from the brenton wood system to the petrodollar um anthony uh if the mortgages actually i just saw ben here birch feed is awesome thanks thanks for being a part of birch feed uh get onto it guys it's free you don't even have to pay the dollar a day that i was charging uh anthony if mortgages get frozen do landlords still expect rents or do you think uh, it should be a flow-on uh, effect um interesting point i believe that they're two separate uh transactions um, you know i believe the government will come in and stimulate the rental market um, and give um sort of tenants an opportunity to get money to pay their rent so they don't become homeless because we're going to see the next problem which is homelessness if people aren't paying their bills um so as an investor you should you know be prepared that things could go wrong with investing uh, i think there's going to be a lot of problems with real estate agents out there um you know people you know is your real estate agent working around the clock is your real estate agent available uh have they got a plan in place um you know if your tenants do default on their rents, what will happen in that case, uh, etc. So um, another point as well, which I think is really important, and I'll do a video specifically on this over the course of the next week or so, is to make sure that you've got landlord insurances in place. Make sure that you're covered with landlord insurance. If you own a property, you need to have landlord insurance. Make sure you have a good one, not some shitty one, which is the same place you insure your car. So. Um, Jonah, interest rates have just dropped. They have. One thing that I thought was really interesting, guys, is we've been on here for a half an hour. When um, when I started here, I went straight to news.com, and news.com within a minute had the whole article written, which the press release was given from the RBA. How were they able to write the whole article um, within a minute of the RBA announcing? There's another question for us to ask. Um, Lucas, do we need people to spend to get a hyperinflation? A hyperinflation will be a point where, let's say that we go through a deflation. The only reason why we need uh, why we need stimulus is because people are fear of spending. So people don't have the money. They're fearful of spending. The money is not coming through the system, etc. cetera. Um, we see them inject a lot of liquidity. Does it work? Does it flow through? We avoid a recession. If it doesn't, they need to inject more liquidity. They need to inject more liquidity. People aren't spending. We need to inject more liquidity. People still aren't spending. Inject more liquidity to a point where people go, shit, I need to go spend more money, and they stop hoarding it, and then the money flows back out in the system. And when the money flows back out is when we have the hyperinflation because people realize that the stuff that they're buying isn't worth the money that they've got, so they want to get rid of the money and get whatever it is that they can put in their hand. But generally, it's, that la it's too late, and we end up into a spiral of, um, of, of uh, erosion to the dollar. Stan, what about your personal owners, capital for a new purchase of another property, not asking financial advice? Um, look, uh, I don't give financial advice, especially on, uh, on live streams, um, nor do I suggest to um, you know, do personal loans for deposits. I've used all different ways of finding capital uh, to get a deal across the line. Um, people would use that uh, as a format, but I don't suggest it. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, there's there's other means to be able to get more property, but um, you know, if people use that, they use that. Um, but it's not something that I certainly recommend or suggest to someone to do. So, um, yeah, with it, guys, I just wanted to hop online just so we could, um, you know, be here together when the news dropped. Twenty five basis points, quarter percent rate cut. Um, I'll be back with more feedback soon uh, of, uh, throughout the daytime. Really, really busy. Um, just wanted to yeah, hop on uh, in between uh, meetings um, to, uh, yeah, look. So we'll catch up soon, guys. Uh, have a good day. Uh, congratulations if you had a million dollars worth of debt. Um, you've just got an extra um, quarter percent rate cut. So a million bucks uh, at one percent is 10 grand. Uh, that's two and a half grand on a million dollar loan. If you've got two million dollars, you just save five grand a year. Uh, if you've got four million dollars, you just save 10 grand a year. So each quarter of percent for me is 50 Gs. So that's pretty cool. Now, know why I get so excited. Catch up soon, guys. Have a good day. Bye for now.